Thank you and in consideration to our team as they do their very best to help you. Hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm back on hold. I've been on hold for 40 minutes. I hate this song now. <laughs> We've had our first problem. I've got an email this morning saying, Hi, we've recently been advised to cancel your order for Sky. And we can now confirm that it has been cancelled. I never wanted it to be cancelled. Oh my eye makeup is cool though. Feels like a very Monday, Tuesday today. I also have started writing a list of everything that needs this week's going to be quite a stressful week after everything that I said last week about this week being so much better. I think, I think it's going to be quite a hard week again this week. We've got a lot of like life admin to do for moving. I didn't know this either but apparently moving house is like up there with the top five stressful things that you can do. Like the most stressful things. Apparently some people think it's more stressful than getting divorced. But it is going to be so worth it. Uh, I just need to get this Sky stuff sorted. Nothing like a wee ever on the phone at Sky. Nothing. <laughs> Love it. So what's happened is, uh, I don't know. I just don't even know what to do with this, you know. It seems like something's happened and they had to cancel our order. <laughs> they cancelled, they, yeah, we had to cancel everything that I did the other night. Oh, it's just such a shame. Because it was like one of the things that I ticked off the list. You know how good it feels ticking something off the list. It's fine, we'll just do it again. So they're phoning me tomorrow. I had a look at my diary and I'm, I'm free at three o'clock. So they're going to phone me back and we're going to put through the order again. And I asked, I was like, what if the same thing happens? And he's like, hopefully it won't. So that's just a wee hiccup. I did my makeup this morning. I actually did my makeup on FaceTime to Charlotte, who I miss very dearly. Me and Charlotte just have so much fun when we're together and see through the whole creation of Eve, it was a lot of hard work, but because we were together, it always felt it was so fun and we've been joking, me and the team have actually been joking. We all just feel like admin assistants at the moment. We're just at home on our computers, which I'm sure a lot of us are, but very different. You know, I never, and I don't think I ever wanted to be an admin assistant. <laughs> I've mentioned before that I usually spend Mondays and Tuesdays on my computer. Um, I actually filmed yesterday morning. Uh, I woke up early so I could film before my meeting and it's one of the last videos that I'm filming in my makeup room which felt quite sad but feeling good about that I've managed to get so much done and actually I'm looking around I've got a video to film before we move which is actually for the 12th of, Fe uh, 12th of March so it's quite good to get that work done early like I, I said I mentioned this last week but I'm looking around and I think it's I think it's time to start packing this makeup room up <coughs> which is scary it is a bit daunting it's quite a lot but I've got all my boxes ready, I've got, oh my god, see these? These boxes I got from Ikea when we were moving in here. And we kept them, they're so good for storage. Especially if you've got like a wee, like a storage hall or you've got a garage or something. They're so great for just keeping stuff in. I think we've got all our Christmas decorations in them as well now. So I think what I might do is get all my makeup brushes together and get them washed. And I'm just trying to figure it out in my head. I feel like I want to film it for a separate video, you know. Yeah, I'm going to film it separately because it'll be a fun video. I feel like we, you and I, have spent a lot of time in this room. I tell you what though, I'm so excited to never see these curtains ever again. <laughs> I've just sat in that seat so much. I would love to know how many hours I've spent sitting in that seat. It's quite fun having a new desk in my computer. I'm starting to feel really excited. There's a couple of things still not like final about the move and it's given me like a wee bit of the, a wee bit of the old stress. I think that that's normal and I've actually just realised we've not had an email through from our movers that I was waiting on getting so I might actually phone them as well. I tell you what, I really hope we don't have to move again ever, ever again, ever again. I come to you after a very busy Wednesday, my dudes. Whoa. Uh, I had a meeting right uh, at nine o'clock and then I had a kind of like a little mini Zoom masterclass for an interview. And then I did an interview, which you will see very, very soon. Really great day. I was back on the phone with Sky. <laughs> We've sorted out the problem. I hope we'll see, I guess in a few days, make sure everything goes through fine again. We signed some paperwork today, which was important. So slowly but surely, the kind of parts of the move that were stressing me out are fading away because they're getting ticked off the list. One one thing that I really, I'm, I'm so glad that I remembered and I started planning it all out, but the, I think the hardest thing about moving house is 
changing over all your like suppliers and all the things, all the like services that you've got with your house. So for example, we need to change the dogs, their chip, their microchip, we need to change the address for that. Driver's license, need to change your address. Electricity, gas, uh, or however you get gas. Council tax, your broadband slash internet provider slash like TV and things like that. Insurances, home insurance, car insurance, dog insurance, pet insurance. HMRC. There are so many things that you need to phone and change your address or go online and change the address of your account. Part of me is kind of excited to do all this again because then I'll have a really good idea of what's going on and I'll know that every end of February-ish we'll have to like look at all our bills again. Whereas in this house there were some things that I forgot and we ended up on a rolling contract which is more expensive so it's kind of nice to start afresh. Um, and I think when we moved in here, I don't think we knew how long we would be here, but deep down, I think we knew that we would move on eventually. Whereas this next house, I'll have to get dragged out. You'll have to drag me out. So it's really, really promising. Everything's looking good. Like I said, we've got some paperwork that we signed today that we need to drop off and everything's really taking shape. This is our last full week in the house. I need to take these off, they're so dirty. Oh my goodness, these are so dirty. Bloody ache. Look at that, I've had them on for hours and I've not even had to touch my makeup up. Yeah, it's all feeling really good, making good progress with the house packing. The one room that is screaming at me is this makeup room, which I am going to start tomorrow. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Me and Jack have started watching a new programme called Behind Her Eyes. It's really good. Is it behind or beneath her eyes? Behind her eyes. Uh, it's really good. We're going to watch it tonight. Jack's um, just finishing something up and then we're going to watch, I think we're going to binge watch it, you know. We've got four episodes left. It's seven o'clock. Episodes are 40 minutes. So if I just get my calculator out, Three hours of television, I could have worked that out in my head. I uploaded my closet clear out video, which I mentioned about six or seven times last, last week. And things are just ticking along. <sighs> I'm just so excited for this next chapter. I feel like I'm kind of in limbo at the moment. And I think that last week in the vlog, you might have seen that I got a bit upset. There was a few different factors to why I got upset. Uh, most, of it was, most of it was just stress, if I'm honest, but um, I felt so comforted by everyone's comments. I was really nervous. <laughs> I was nervous to show myself getting upset because, you know, anyone could say, we've got no, I've got no right to be upset, but it was the total opposite. Everyone is saying you've got every right to feel whatever you've got to feel, and I hope that you guys know that as well, because I struggled to remember that. But anyway, I think that most of the reason for my upset last week was just the general feeling of unsettledness, uneasiness. Our house is turned upside down at the moment like with all the packing and stuff and I guess like everything that I mentioned like changing over all the vendors and all that stuff it just it is it feels like quite a lot like I'm always on the phone to our solicitor and trying to get everything set and sorted it's just quite hard but it'll be so worth it and I feel now that like I can see that things are going to be like so great like when we move we can actually just get properly settled you know get our work areas back to normal, get excited about decorating and any renovations. Like I just, I feel really positive this week about everything and it feels like doable. It feel, it all feels really doable. I mean, I just can't wait to show you guys. I feel like we've had, you and I, we've had a lot of time here, you know, not doing much, just chatting and I hope you don't mind that. Like I said last week, it's not all peaches and cream, but it's also not all bells and whistles, you know, it's just normal life. and. I think that anyone that's about to be moving house, it's crazy and it's stressful, but it's also quite boring. Like I'm not actually doing anything apart from packing. We're out the house. Briefly want to touch upon that program that we watched. What's it called? Behind Her Eyes. We were, me and Jack were just talking about this. It started out quite good, promising. And then it just went, it got, it got really weird. Yeah, not sure. Not sure about that. We've got a little bit of a busy day just doing stuff. It's a great friend of mine, Jade's 30th birthday today, and we're gonna go and put a wee bottle of wine on our doorstep. I have the chiropractor today. I'm gonna jump in and get us some food. Uh, and it's weird, because we can't really, we're, we're trying to be really mindful about what we're buying, because we're moving. We don't want to buy things that last too long, if that makes sense. We, we'll buy our food that we can eat up until we move but we don't want to buy any like extra stuff and we've got some papers to drop off 
So we're going to get all that done. I think we'll be home about three o'clock and then it's time to start packing up the makeup room. <laughs> Jack's going to help me. Aren't you, Jack? Yeah. Yes. Right, look how cool that is. I swear, the first time I saw this, I thought it looked like something out of Courchevel, like a proper ski chalet. So good. I would definitely live there. What was it called? Ashbury. So cool. Also, I think these wee houses are so cute. Every time I drive past them, I think they're adorable with their wee gardens out the front. What flowers are you going to get her? I think I actually will just get her roses. Roses? They look nice. Right? They are Cute. She's classy. They're small. I know, but they're, these are classier than like big green things. What were those ones? Do I treat your woman? You felt like this when you were buying me flowers. I did. Did you not see the val? No, did you not see your Valentine's roses? The nice ones in the box and everything? Mm-hmm. Need to treat your lady. Ah, uh, yeah, they're lovely. Is she there? Yeah. <laughs> Where oh. is she? Starting to look quite promising, this trolley. Yeah. What's that? It's the stuff for that pasta, we oh, like. Oh, pasta. A very successful shop. Success. I got her. Some roses because she's posh and look at the size. This is like my dream bottle of wine. It's like a mega chaton of the pap for celebrations. I actually said to Jack, maybe we should get one for the day we move house, but we're not gonna, we've not done it. Jack said that it's because we would drink it first. I mean, I think I would manage to contain myself. Don't worry. Do I got it? Is it the last place you looked? One out of four things ticked off the list. I quite like going in there because I don't get any phone signal. It's like getting lost. I just got an email from Vive. Rosy cheeks and luscious lips. Oh my cute. Do you know who makes these? Charlotte Crozer. Beautiful Charlotte Crozer. Whoa, that looks so good. Thank you. Got my wee oh, sandwich and a juice and you're gonna fall. Bye. We're nearly at the birthday girl's house. Stevie Wonder, isn't it? No, because I get copyright copyrighted every time I play that. <gasps> <laughs> no, don't do that one. Don't do that one. Happy birthday! Happy nice. birthday! There it's there. There's a head. Is that white Oh shit, she's gonna see me. Yeah, you're is that her wee car? Oh god, oh god, oh god. She's gonna see me. I have my head down. Wait, 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 go, go, wait, go, wait. go, go, go. Have you got the oh line? No. Where's the song? Play the song up at the window down. Oh. Right, go. Turn it right up. I'll turn it right up. Turn it up. <laughs> Happy birthday! Did I play it? I love you. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to? Are you going to have a nice day? Huge success! City girl. Got the goods. This was the last one again. This is my favourite cake of all time. Half, half the goods, Jane. Why? Just half it? I will half it. Do you know what you me to do? Use my fingers as a knife. There you go. Thanks very much. So we're in Glasgow, we're in town because I've got my chiropractor appointment. Yeah, They've stayed true. open through everything because they're deemed as essential medical care. I would like to put it out there. I think that certain um, massage places should have been kept open because I would say that a really good massage, like a sports massage, helps me just as much as my chiropractor. I don't think they should have shut down as much of like the like healthcare and also they kind of picked they picked and chose what kind of healthcare they deemed to be important homeopathic healthcare is just as important 
dinner time in the household. We're still on a Charlie Bingham's hype. I'm waiting for you to try it so you can tell me if it's good. It looks hot. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Look, place it up like a professional, Jack. Tell you what time it is. 12 minutes past seven. Mm. Tell you what we've not started. Packing. <laughs> we've not started the packing for the day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Or we just beast it tomorrow. Here today I'm reviewing Charlie Bingham's Carbonara. That's what we're having tonight. Who is this man? <laughs> I want to meet him and shake his hand. <laughs> I don't hand. want to shake his hand as well. It is Saturday. It sounds so echoey in here now. It's crazy. I've not spoke to you for a few days because we've just been packing and I've got a bit of a checklist to start ticking off before we can start not, ha not having our things. I have one more video to film. Uh, a sponsored video which I'm really excited about which you'll see in a couple of weeks time. As soon as I've filmed that I've managed to really get on top of everything which means that all we have to do is vlog which is really exciting. This is our last full week in the house which is crazy. We've been feeling a lot of different things. I think it's so different moving from like a house where you've got loads and loads of memories like the first flat that we lived in i was still a makeup artist and then i changed over to this job i think we were there for two years but we've lived in this house for three and a half years so it's been actually quite quite a while we're just so excited now on friday we had a wee bit of a i wouldn't even call it a stress because it's fine but you know you think you think i think this is like exactly what a house moves all about you think that you've got everything sorted and then you get a phone call saying we need this and it's just like things that you really thought that you ticked off the list need fixed again but we've worked through loads this week we've got loads and loads done we've got an exciting phone call about our movers so i thought that on moving day we would have our movers in the morning um and then we would like try and get things done as quickly as possible but i got a phone call saying that they were free the day before so it means that we can get quite a lot of like a lot of the stuff that's in the house into the van the day before so it'll take loads of pressure off on the moving day and weirdly the way that the situation that we're in uh i I think that the people that we're buying the house from will be pretty much good to go, uh, maybe even ahead of the moving day. And then the people that are moving into this house, they are not having to do a big move here, I don't think, I'm not sure. But it feels like it's going to be fine and not too complicated as well. But look at that. Empty, wait, let me show you. Empty, empty. And it's so crazy. All my plants are gone. One thing that I've done as well is I've packed my whole makeup collection. Everything in my drawers is all packed, but I also like packed up anything around me. So see if I show you. I need to clean through these drawers. Um, they've got makeup and stuff on them. I still need to clean them, but these are all empty now. And then I've got my two tools from GHD that I use all the time. So I've got my Platinum Plus and my Rise hot brush. And then I've literally got my makeup bag, which is just all my essential stuff. Uh, at the front, this is the Vive Essential Plus bag. It is so perfect for a full face of makeup. I actually love keeping my skincare in one of these as well. And then I've got like dry shampoo, hairspray, heat protector, another like detangler. What's this? Oh, like some cotton buds and stuff in there. And then I've got like my skincare. I've got quite a few perfumes still out, but I've got all my skincare that I use all the time. And I've just got one little pot of brushes. So I'm actually, I'm going to clean these before I film. I think I'm going to be filming tomorrow now. I really like this ISO Clean brush cleaner. It's really, really good, but I'm going to give these a deep clean. And all my skincare bits and this, I am so obsessed with. So this was sent to me by the Psychic Sisters. This is the Wish Mist. So it is uranium and clementine. You just spray it over, you can see that there's crystals in there. Um, and it's just so nice, it's really, really nice. It's kind of like an aura spray. Very minimal. And it's making me realize that actually I really quite like not having as much stuff. I think I'm gonna have to do another like declutter for my move. And I think that I will be really inspired by all the change and oh, I just can't wait. And because we've done so much packing, this is what's happened. So I've got a wall of boxes here. We have loads more boxes here. We have more boxes there. Things are really starting to pile up. Uh, I don't think in here has changed. But we do have the wall of boxes. We've got rid of our rug and cleaned it. So much stuff. And then in this room, we are doing okay. There's a lot uh, of just stuff that we need out at the moment. And then there's some things that we can't really pack as well. So I just think 
that our lives are going to be just a little bit upside down for the next week. We've done good up till now. I'm really, really proud of us. I'm really proud that we've managed to keep working and packing and we're kind of prepared. We've got some bits for the new house already, which I, I got really excited about buying a kettle and a toaster. I spent ages looking at reviews. Yeah, I think, Jack, what do you want to do today? I feel like we've actually, I think we should make the most of it. Sounds good to me. I'll film tomorrow and then I can pack up my makeup room. That's like finished packing it. Saturday is our oyster. Saturday is our oyster. Buzzing. Hello, it's Sunday my guy. I just did this makeup or most of it on Instagram Live. It was very, very good. I wanted to jump on quickly and just say thank you again for so many lovely comments last week. This week's been much better. Loads of progress made, which is super exciting. I think like 85% of the work uh, will be done this time next week. So I'm really just so happy. I'm gonna cook that pasta again for dinner. We can't get enough of it, it's so, so good. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's this pasta that I make. It was kind of like an accidental recipe. We had stuff in the fridge and I just Googled to see if there was a recipe worth it. And it's inside, I've kind of like tweaked it and stuff. So I'll, I'll pop the vlog and the recipe, the vlog week that I show you the recipe and it's, it's at the end of that vlog, but it's really good. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Last night we sat in the conservatory. I watched a film and Jack just, we just hung out with the dogs and it was kind of like saying goodbye to the house a wee bit. We shared a bottle of wine. We had a nice dinner. It was so, so nice. I don't know why we don't spend more time in this room. Look, before the move, I've moved like all the plants in here and look how nice it looks. Oh, it's so like warm as well. <laughs> Hi, Tuna. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So we've got loads of plants there and then we've got our hanging ivy and we've got our table of plants right there. And it is just so nice in here. I literally sat there all day. I sat here for hours just watching films and programmes, listening to music. It was so great. Yeah, I'll miss this house a lot, a lot, a lot. But I feel like we've not really spoken about the new house. I'm really excited about the new house. Thanks for hanging out again. Uh, I know the vlogs are a wee bit all over the place at the moment, but it's just because we're a bit all over the place at the moment in, in a good way. And I guess I'll see you next week for our moving week. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just looked me right in my eyes. I've just come into these lights and I didn't notice how dirty my glasses were. But I need them to see. I've said already, but it's. Whoa! moved my film. You already got that me. Yeah, but you're so handsome though. Chai. <laughs> <Try. laughs>